Yes, today I uh, stand before you on behalf of the Ministry of Health and Medical Service with utmost pleasure to accept the generous donation of COVID-19 vaccines from our dear friends in uh, UNICEF Pacific and uh, the United States uh, uh, government. First and foremost, I'd like to express our sincere vinakapakalewu to UNICEF Pacific and the U U US government for their unwavering and continued support in our fight against this ongoing battle with the pandemic. Your contributions have been invaluable to us and your dedication to the health and well-being of, of our nation is deeply appreciated. The 17,280 doses of Pfizer variant containing vaccine, VCV, that we received today are not just doses of hope. They are significant addition to our routine immunization program. The VCV represents a more advanced vaccine that provides protection against the Omicron variant and which has posed new challenges, which has itself posed new challenges to our path of, uh, to recovery. This moment marks a historic milestone for Fiji. It introduces an additional layer of defense, particularly benefiting our vulnerable groups, including our cherished older adults and individuals with pre-existing health conditions. The efficacy of this vaccine is notable in strengthening immunity amongst those at higher risk of severe illness, ensuring their well-being even in the presence of emerging vir uh, virus strains. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today. It may seem that, as we are gathered here today, it may seem that COVID-19 is becoming a distant memory for many of us. However, allow me to take you back in time, just three short years ago, when the world was grappling with the rapid spread of this novel virus. Our dedicated health teams worked tirelessly day and night to contain the spread and save lives. It was not until March 2021 when we received our first symbol of hope. These, initi these initial doses of COVID-19 vaccines. Since then, we have made remarkable progress with over 90% of our population fully vaccinated and more than 50% receiving the, uh, booster doses. We have come, indeed come a long way. We've been able to loosen restrictions, reopen borders, giving the impression that life is returning to normal. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not underestimate the gravity of the situation. COVID-19 may have, have become less conspicuous in our daily lives. However, it has not disappeared. We are currently witnessing resurgence in cases in a number of places. And that is a stark reminder that the virus is still among us. Our message to the people of Fiji remains clear and unwavering. We urge everyone to get the booster shots. We recommend receiving a booster shot to ensure continued protection from the virus. This is our collective re uh, responsibility to safeguard not only our own health, but also the health of our loved ones and our communities. <coughs> Before I conclude, I'd like to take a moment once again to express our heartfelt gratitude to the USAID and uh, UNICEF for their incredible uh, support. <coughs> our generos your generosity and dedication has become a beacon of hope in our darkest hours. And we are truly honored to have such steadfast partners in this journey. In closing, let us remember that we are all in this together. <laughs> together we can overcome the challenges that lie ahead and emerge from this pandemic stronger and more resilient than ever. Thank you and may we continue to work hand in hand to protect the health and well-being of our beloved Fiji. The U.S. government is proud to continue our partnership with the government of Fiji in supporting the country's ongoing COVID-19 vaccination efforts. I would like to express my thanks and praise to Permanent Secretary Fong and the Ministry of Health and Medical Services for your strong leadership and decisive action in addressing COVID-19 here in Fiji. Against the incredible challenges faced here throughout the pandemic, particularly during the Delta and Omicron surges, Fiji and its people have demonstrated strength, resilience, and unfailing dedication to supporting each and every community of this country. Although the COVID-19 pandemic was officially declared over as a public health emergency, and as Dr. Fong mentioned, we know the virus is still with us and continues to threaten the health of people across the globe. And we know the best way to save lives is through vaccines. Today, the United States, through our Department of Health and Human Services, and with robust support from the U.S. Agency for International Development, is proud to deliver the first donation of bivalent vaccines to our friends in Fiji. 
This donation of 17,280 doses of the Pfizer bivalent vaccine expands upon the U.S. government's previous vaccine donations through the COVAX facility of 183,680 life-saving doses. This latest delivery will directly support booster vaccination efforts in the country. The U.S. government supports the Fijian Ministry of Health and Medical Services in encouraging its citizens to stay up to date on their COVID-19 vaccinations, particularly their booster doses. Booster vaccinations are critical to sustaining immunity against COVID-19, which is particularly important given the emergence of new strains of the disease. I am boosted and I am profoundly grateful to the scientists and health workers who have made it possible to protect myself from the virus. I'll tell everyone here the same thing I tell my own parents, family, friends, and colleagues. Anyone who will listen, please get your boosters. It is the best way to protect yourself and your communities. I would like to acknowledge our partnership with UNICEF which has been critical in supporting the U.S. government's COVID-19 response in Fiji and across the Pacific Islands region. Through this partnership, USAID has provided emergency medical equipment and supplies, implemented risk communication campaigns, trained healthcare workers, and supported mass vaccination efforts in Fiji and 11 other Pacific Island countries. The U.S. government is committed to strengthening regional resilience to the next emerging disease threat. I'm proud to share that USAID, through its new global health security program, will invest $5 million in its first year to strengthen pandemic preparedness and response in Fiji and other countries in the region. The United States looks forward to continuing and building upon our long-standing partnership with the people of Fiji. Just last month, we were proud to open a new USAID mission here in Suva that will help address development concerns here in Fiji and across the Pacific region. The new mission will help to enhance our already strong partnership with Fiji, build stronger people-to-people -people ties, and allow us to continue to work together on shared challenges inspired by our shared values. I remember arriving here a couple of years ago and the whole place was locked down. Um, and the first uh, two weeks I spent um, locked down because we weren't allowed out of our hotel rooms, do you remember? Um, and, um, and the whole of the Pacific was closed. And James and, uh, and all of you, especially the nurses, uh, were doing an amazing job of trying to accelerate uh, COVID vaccination at, at that time. And everybody was very fearful and the, you were doing, I think, daily press conferences about the, about the pandemic at that, at that time and everybody, nobody really knew what was going to happen. And all the schools were closed. It was a big concern of mine too, that children were not being educated uh, as well. And we wanted children to get back into school because we didn't see school as being a risk for children. So we were pushing the Ministry of Education on that uh, too. And then Fiji um, did a kind of miracle and um, reached a certain point where you vaccinated enough people and you had very good coverage. And that was thanks to all of you, the frontline workers, for doing brilliant, uh, brilliant work. And when you had vaccinated enough people, you took the big risk of opening the borders. You were the first country, do you remember, your first country in the Pacific to reopen? Yeah? So you should all be very proud of, uh, of what you did because you set an example for everybody else. And with, after you came Tonga who had very high uh, rates and then all of the other countries, Samoa did a really brilliant job as well. Uh, but a number of countries stayed closed for a very, very long time. If you think of the very small, um, smaller countries like Tuvalu, uh, even like Kiribati, uh, they stayed uh, closed for a very long time, having a huge impact on, on uh, the population, on the economy and so on. Whereas you were able to reopen quickly and get the economy back on, on, it, on track and recover uh, 
quite quickly, even though you had a lot of cases, but you did a brilliant job in vaccination. So I just want to say that that was my experience here uh, the f when I first arrived in Fiji, which wasn't so great being locked up in a hotel room, but, um, but was a, a wonderful thing to be working in a kind of emergency and trying to accelerate something together and with such an effective health uh, workforce. So thank you very much uh, uh, for that. Um, our partnership continues today. You've heard that um, it's so great to be receiving uh, these 17,000 doses of variant, variant containing COVID-19 vaccines, which as you know is a first uh, for VG. And you can vaccinate Dr. Fong in a minute. And the VCVs have been developed uh, to effectively combat the new, the new variants, as you know. It's really a part of an effort to support the integration of COVID-19 vaccinations into routine immunization. So let's not carry on as if um, it's not part of routine now. We have to integrate it properly into our routine services. But we also need to cultivate trust and demand for quality health services. So um, that um, social mobilization, that communication side is still uh, very important. I want to thank um, the US government for your ongoing support. Um, through UNICEF, the US government pledged over $8.45 million uh, to the COVID-19 pandemic response in the Pacific. So that was a big uh, help for our, our, a big boost for our, our work. Thank you. And through this, Fiji, as you heard, received essential health supplies such as cold chain equipment, it's sometimes we go to the other the other place where the cold chain is and to the to the pharmaceutical center, right? It's not very nice to be in a health center, but usually we go we're in the pharmaceutical center, and you there I always get very excited because the cold chain is so exceptional. It's first class, and it's like world class, and it's as good as any cold chain I've ever seen anywhere in the world. So you have a first class uh, system, which is great but also gene expert machines tents ppes a lot of ppes from uh, from the us enough to benefit more than 600,000 fijians including 3000 healthcare workers but beyond that uh, usaid also supports us in other areas and helped us in our in our drought response in kiribati in cyclones judy and kevin in vanuatu and the tonga emergency response as well as the uh, measles outbreak that we've had uh, here in fiji uh, as well uh, and the catch up campaigns that we were doing uh, to deal to deal with that so the implementation of any vaccination campaign is not easy you know better than anyone, uh, but with, with the support from USAID and others, UNICEF was able to engage TalkWalker, an online and social media tool which has enabled us to track rumors and misinformation around the vaccines. So you know we had a lot of misinformation around COVID, right? And a lot of people who were speaking up against it. So the government took a little bit of a hard line on that, which was helpful, I think. Um, but at the same time, it caused some pain amongst in the community. And I think that uh, it was good to be able to deal with this and hear that what those rumors were and address them uh, instantly. So we look forward to continuing and expanding our partnership with USAID, um, not only to deal with the immunization, but to address the triple burden of malnutrition, which is a huge issue here in the Pacific, and building and strengthening resilient primary health care systems. On behalf of UNICEF, I want to congratulate you on the opening of your new uh, office, uh, the USAID uh, mission in Fiji. I'm looking forward to being invited very soon. Um, we look forward to a very strong uh, partnership uh, moving forward. And once again, Vinaka Vakalebu to uh, the Ministry of Health, uh, James Fong, under your leadership, and to uh, especially you, uh, the frontline workers, you ladies who garlanded us. Thank you very much. Vinaka Vakalebu.